All right, spring break season is here. Summer vacation will be here before you know it. And once you're at your travel de destination, then the fun can begin. Right? Yeah, we know that traveling it's getting to, get there. to that destination <laughs> is the problem sometimes. It can be full of annoyances like that person who hogs the armrest on the airplane. So Susan is here because it's a topic in the latest On Your Side podcast. And we were discussing this Friday at our morning meeting when we talk about what's happening next. Everybody had an opinion on this. Everybody had issues. Everybody has that one story that they go back to and they're like, that one time was the worst. <laughs> right? Or when you get off the airplane, you have to like debrief, like you'll never believe what happened this time, right? <laughs> it happens to us all. So travel website going just surveyed its members to come up with a definitive list on the most annoying things travelers do. Number one may surprise you. Sometimes flying feels like the Wild West. It annoys the beep out of me. <laughs> I like that oh. you beeped yourself. <laughs> and our fellow passengers can do a lot to annoy us. I personally thought this was going to be the armrest debate, but no, actually what our travelers have said that they despise right now, 27% of our respondents said that they cannot tolerate or are just so sort of turned off by people coughing and or not wearing a mask if they're sick. Travel expert Katie Nastro from Going joined us on the On Your Side podcast. She says the second most annoying thing people can do on an airplane is not use their headphones. That's tied with kicking or pulling on the back of your seat. Reclining the seat without checking in is also on the list. Then my personal pet peeve. I cannot handle when people stand up the second the plane parks yeah. at the gate. Yeah. We're all waiting in line. The people that rush and try to get off of the plane ahead of their row yeah. just infuriate yeah. me. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah, uh, I've seen it before. Yeah, just every single always. time I'm on an airplane and it's like, yeah. where are you going? Seven percent of people agree with me. But here's one that's up for debate. What about people who come up? They don't eat you know before they get on the plane mm. they got to bring oh, their, we're gonna have a debate about this this big fat italian roast yeah. beef sandwich and they open up the bag and oh yeah i am it's, that person no, i eat on the plane <laughs> you what yeah all right listen if you're bringing, Why not? if you're bringing pretzels or crackers fine it's you, more annoying to hear somebody chomp on a pretzel or a cracker than it is I can, a sandwich I, listen, I have headphones but i can't do anything with my nose Oh my gosh, you I, are one of those violators? I, 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 don't think that's a, I don't think that's a violation. I'm just taking up, if I have a five hour flight, why not take up the first 15 minutes with something delicious? You know, we're people at the end of the day. We do want a snack. We do want a little bit of uh, a sustenance, but I think sort of the unwritten rule there and just sort of plain etiquette is, if you're going to bring food with you, just make sure it's not going to be anything with a serious odor. <laughs> so that tuna sandwich, just, you know, be kind to your fellow passengers and maybe skip that one for, uh, for the trip. There is a QR code on your screen right now that's going to take you right to the podcast where we also chat about this season's travel outlook and we answer that age old question. What's better, the aisle seat or the window? Remember, you can get the On Your Side podcast on any of these platforms, including our AZ Family YouTube page. You can tell we had a lot of fun with this, this one. This gets yes. people riled up, doesn't it? It sure does. <laughs> yeah. well, well, we were watching that right? story. I'm, Susan, I, I know. can't believe you do that. I know. I Can somebody out there help me out? <laughs> tell me that you also eat on an airplane? You have to on a long flight, and especially with but kids. But again, you're don't do something snacks. that's going to offend her. This, you yeah. know, no smelly. hard eggs. Yes. It's, it's the smell <laughs> thing. I, I get it. Like, I get it. I feel like cheese pizza. I've had cheese pizza before. That's not that bad, right? Yeah. No. That's yeah, pretty I, benign. Yeah, and then, and then you have to ask somebody it. to recline your seat. Heck with that. <laughs> Scott is never going to ask. Not a chance. If he's in front of you. Because the guy in front of me is, you know, like one, that. one time someone started putting nail polish. Ooh, that's a And then smell. actually the flight attendant came by and were like, you can't be doing that here because that smell circulates through the air. And I guess, you know, the, they called it the fumes. But yeah, like, that would Oops. be a bad one. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like that. Lots of little things like that. It all it happens That's all the time. That's so interesting. That's why download that podcast and <laughs> we'll take a listen.